Danny, what did you make of that performance today? I think it was brilliant, to be fair. I think, you know, a um, bit sloppy first half, I think second half, you know, I, well, the stats will show. I don't know how many corners we had, but we, we was peppering their goal and playing good stuff. Uh, the first half, two goals down, do you think that was a, a fair reflection of the game? No, I don't at all. I think, I mean, the way we broke and, you know, we got a few chances, there go Pat hits the, the post, you know, the, the woodwork. I think, I, I, I think it's a, you know, I don't think it reflects the the uh, performance the lads put in and especially when we went down to 10 men I thought it was great character it showed great character and I think we played some good stuff What was your view of the red card incident? Um, well I just I just thought obviously you can't jump without using your arms and I just thought that's what he'd done obviously Gav's a you know he's a senior pro he's, he's not gonna, he's not stupid enough to go in with his elbow and I, I, you know I personally think it wasn't a red When you went down to 10 men did you, did you think that's it, that's over? No, no, I'll not, not for one second because I know what character we've got in the changing room and how the boys react and, you know, when our backs are against the wall, you know, we'll fight. When you need a goal, I suppose David Connolly is someone you can count on. Yeah, exactly. He just nicked it off Birdie, bless him. Uh, I think Birdie, Birdie would like, you know, the fourth, fourth in four, is it? But, you know, Connolly's, you know, he's, he's a great pro. And it shows a lot about the character in the squad that, you know, you were 2-0 down, down to 10 men against the League One side and you were able to, to fight back. Yeah, exactly. It just shows we've got tremendous character here. And, you know, I think all the boys are coming together now, and hopefully we can push on. You know, I think it was unlucky today. You know, to get beat, and I think obviously we were six unbeaten before that, and it is disappointing not to get the you know the seventh and carry on and carry on. And to be fair, you know, to be fair, Stevenage, they're very organised and they play the game well. You know, so. You know, well done today. How frustrating was it? Because you did push and push and push right at the end. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we had a few close calls in May, so I think if if we had five more minutes, I do believe we'd have scored. But you know, that's that's football, isn't it? Yeah. And finally, that that's the FA Cup over with for another season, but some important games coming up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, everyone wants to be part of the FA Cup, especially when it gets to that third round, getting the big teams and stuff. But you know, it it might not be such a bad thing. You know, we're, we've got some big games coming up, and we need to get climbing up the table. You know, and, and hopefully get out of the league. You know, and also another important cup game on Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it'll be a tough one, you know. Obviously, we'll be travelling up there, and on Monday, and we'll be we'll be getting prepared for it.